In this episode of the Jailbreak Diaries, Billy and I go to our very first cat show in Sanford, Florida, where we discovered there are a lot of similarities to dog shows, but dog people are much louder than cat people. The guys are pretty hot. Sorry. My left or your left? Well, all three of us are facing the same way, so it's the same left. Guy. Oh, it's a hot guy. And now he's with us, and now I can't ever turn again. And the people are beyond generous with their time and with their knowledge. Billy and I have been on quite a few adventures during our forced three month vacation from dog shows, so be sure to subscribe and ring that little bell so you don't miss one moment of the fun. Walking into our very first cat show felt surprisingly somewhat familiar. At first glance, it's like being at a smaller dog show where the grooming area and the show rings are all in the same room. Except here, the cats are kept in these adorable little tent-like structures. I suppose somewhat like our pop-up tents that we use in the toy breeds. The rings consist of special display crates for the cats, and they're all wrapped around a table where the cats are judged. It took a bit of soaking it all in to grasp all the concepts, but yeah, I got it. It totally made sense. Some interesting things to note. The cats are placed in what is called a benched cage. There's a ring steward, just like at dog shows, that helps maintain the records and of course calls in the animals by number. The judges themselves actually get the cats out of the cages to inspect and of course judge them. Each ring is its own separate show, so you could bring your cat to all seven of the rings for seven chances to earn points. Just like in a dog show, they judge the males and then the females. It was so fascinating to watch the judges interact with the cats to truly see it in action, including playing with it. And they talked with the actual owners and all of the people watching. How cool is that? The judges placed the ribbons right onto the cages, and that's how you know if your cat won. A cat needs to win six first place winner ribbons in the open category to earn its title of champion. Just like in our best of breed in dogs, a champion goes on to compete against other champions and then after they earn 200 points, they become a grand champion. Each breed is judged within itself, just like the dogs are. Okay. And then it expands out at the end, and the final is when they all come back together. Okay. Okay. So every breed is like the breed standard for a Burman or an exotic or a Maine Coon or Persian, they're all different. Right. So they're judged against that individual right. standard. Right, just like right. in dogs, just okay. Just like in dogs, okay. Yes, so it's the same thing. In okay. Same horses, it's the same thing. Okay. Because they're judged for confirmation. So the end when they come back together is like the group of. Yes, the, all the winners? Yes. Okay. okay. Based on the cast of that day, just like the right. right. Okay. Now, one thing we definitely took note of was the process of keeping everything clean and sanitary. What are we? Now, they are extremely sanitary. Yes, you they see are. what they are doing? They're like cleaning everything. Everything. Every time. Everything. She washes the hands in that counter every, every time. time. Every time a cat leaves the crate, they clean it. They don't do that at dog shows. No. Hello, camera Bob. These are cute. They're really good. Like, I want one of those. These are all exotic kittens. And I want at least one of each. <laughs> They're not going to fit in your van. And now I'm going to interbreed them to create designer cats. <laughs> Just kidding. What's, a, like, what's the equivalent to a cat doodle? Uh, now you know Billy and I had a show favorite, and we called it the moment he walked past us. OMG, the most eye-catchingly stunning mancoon ever. Of course, his size definitely made you stop and take note. He's a one-year and eight-month-old mancoon. He's 21 pounds. <laughs> yes, that is, he is not, amazing. He's not heavy, he's just... Rough. Like, he's not a fat 21 pounds. That's amazing. They grow three to five years. So well, okay, still, so he's got time. He's, he's just a teenager. But he's spectacular. I mean, he's absolutely stunning. Thank you so much. Wow. wow. Another thing I couldn't help but notice was the extremely large auction table in the center of the room. You see, I have this addiction to auctions and always participate at dog shows. So, of course... I had to continue the tradition here. Plus, I have oh, a cat. I need stuff, projector. right? We'll put two in those. Funny thing is, I swear, when it comes to auctions and raffles, I always seem to win something. And this time was no different. 
and I wasn't the only winner winner chicken dinner. Billy won big time. Cat stuff and holiday decorations and costume jewelry and even more cat stuff and a bunch of white owls. I think Billy did his Christmas shopping with his loot. Truly an amazing day at the cat show. And they invited us back with our cameras. So, so until next time. So, now I think I'm going to have a side job as a professional cat agent. Agent. It's called agent, not right. handler. Agent. Because you don't handle them. You agent them. Right. And you can wear jeans. Right. I don't have to even dress nice. <laughs> I can't help.